everyone Rhonda again from Cali Girl Crafts and Hauls and I just was going to show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing with the Timu iron on um iron-ons they come like this on a little you know piece of like wax paper and I love this one it says simply blessed with all the pretty little flowers and here's another one but I just wanted to show you what they look like before you do this so do not be afraid to get these iron-ons and do them at your own home with your own iron. I made every one of these with an iron. So my first one, boo. And these t-shirts I ordered from Beware Sportswear and they had a big sale on them for like $3.99 and I thought that was a really good buy. So there's my boo. And just take some parchment paper, though, and put it over the um, iron-on. That's what I usually do. I, I actually iron my shirt where I'm going to put the, put the iron-on and get it kind of warm. And then I set the iron-on, you know, of course, this side down, you know, where it's looking up at you. And you get it positioned in there the way you want it. And then take your parchment paper and lay a piece of parchment paper over this onto the shirt and just iron onto the parchment paper until it sticks. I mean, it takes a little bit of pressing and a little bit of heat because they're, don't mind my hair, what am I doing? Anyways, because they, it does just take some heat and some pressing. This one, look at how cute that is. Is that just not adorable? Merry Christmas. Yeah, I love these. These are so cute. These are all gifts. So if you want to make a nice little gift for someone and, you know, just surprise them. You, these are my actual t-shirt materials. So that's why I really love them because I'm not really into the other stuff. But this is one I made. These are gifts. Is this just not cute? Look at that. And it's in the truck. It's got a cow. It's got a piggy. It's got a little sheep. It's got a donkey. It's got a rooster. And it's got a hen in there. Aren't they cute? And they, they're on there good. They're on there good. I always wash and, and wash my shirts first, though. And make sure that, you know, they're clean. And then, um, yeah. Just iron them on. Do not be afraid. These little iron-ons cost me $1.49 from Timu. $1.49. Super cheap, guys. Super. I love this one. This one says, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. This one I'll be wearing quite a bit. <laughs> and I love the colors, too, in this one. You got to kind of watch... White, like your wording and stuff. I noticed on the boo, some of the black, um, like the bats and things like that, you can't really see because the t-shirt is black. So if you want to like lighten it up and maybe get a little lighter blue or some, some other color, but this one looks really good on this color on black. This is another one. I was busy that day. Merry Christmas. So, you know, Get busy, girls and guys. You can do this in your own home. You don't have to pay all that extra money for all this, especially with Timu, because they're selling the iron-ons, and they sell out of a lot of the iron-ons that I want. So, you know, they, they, are, they are going. Here's a couple more, and I'll be done, I promise. This is one for my sister. Isn't that cute? got the little gnomes and the elf in there for Christmas. She loves gnomes. This one, of course, I had to do. It says, I may look calm, but in my head, I've pecked you three times. This iron-on was a little bit harder. I think it's a thicker iron-on, but I love how this came out on this shirt. This is going to a good sister friend. So don't mind me, I'm out of the picture, but that's fine. And then this one too. Is that just not pretty? Look at that old-fashioned Santa. 
ho, ho, ho. Anyways, I just thought I'd share these because I've been wanting to put them on here and I keep forgetting. So I think I might go ahead and start a Dollar Tree haul real quick. So if you don't want to stay for that, that's fine. But the iron-ons, don't be afraid of them. You can use them in your... Um, in, with your own iron, I, I did set the iron on the hottest setting it'll go. So do not leave it on there by itself. Always make sure <laughs> you're pushing on it or you're moving it and it's not just stationary. So just keep you know going back and forth with it and getting it warm. And you'll tell, you'll see when I took my earrings off and everything, so don't mind me. Anyways, look at this. I just want to show everybody my cute Dollar Tree stuff too. I just did a Timu haul, so you probably see me on the same stuff. I love these little coffee. Uh, it says everything gets better with coffee pot holders. Aren't those cute? And I need a few new pot holders. This I picked up. Anyways, Rhonda from Kelly Girl Crafts and Hauls, and I'm back with a Dollar Tree haul. These I picked up because sometimes my oven is getting really hot lately and I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes these are not enough. And so these are silicone and I thought, if I have to grab something out of there at 400 degrees or something, I can do that, even on the grill, because these I believe are good for that too because they are silicone. So I thought those were cute for $1.25. I'll say $1.25 a hundred times. Oh, talking about iron-on. I found these at our Dollar Tree. They're from Juncture. And I'm gonna open one up because I didn't look at it when I was in the store because of course it's, you know, it's bad. Oh my gosh, look at how cute that is. And then it's got its own string. I really thought and I've got some smaller iron-ons, but I thought I would iron on something on this. Wouldn't that be adorable? Yes, you can iron on anything. Any of these iron-ons, <laughs> you can iron them on. I'm glad I got these. Perfect size for probably granddaughters that are getting quite a bit of little stuff, so they'll all fit in there. I did pick up this one. This is a, like a big wash bag. And I don't know why I got it, except for I do kind of, because I have a lot of clothes that I'm gonna be going through. And oh my gosh, look at how huge this one is, guys. This is a huge laundry bag. <laughs> but I thought I would put the clothes that I'm going to donate or the clothes that I'm going to um, try and sell um, you know, uh, I dropped something. I don't know what it was, but anyway, yeah, the, just separate clothes. Cause I've got so many, of, so many of them from Timu. You guys will help me with the Timu. Thank goodness Dollar Tree. I haven't seen much of clothes, clothing on Dollar Tree, but I did pick up some washcloths because yes, we go through them and we need them. And these are not bad feeling. They're kind of thicker than I'm used to. But you only get two in this one for $1.25, but I thought those would be nice. I put those in my bathroom. I picked up these for the guys because they don't really like white washcloths. So, you know, and it's kind of easier in the gray and the dark blue. They didn't really have the other colors. They did have kind of a green color there, and I thought that was kind of pretty. And of course, on the bottom of all of that, was a pie shell, a graham cracker pie shell. So there we go. I love these and I have to make sure I use them before they go out of date. This one is April 24th. No, I'm sorry, April 27th, 2024. Here it is right here. You can see it on there. So I will use it way before then. I, I sometimes put them away and I forget them. Let's see, what is this one? Oh, that's that's the Timu haul. Sorry, guys. I've got them. I've got all this stuff over here that I really do want to show you. Oh, a lot of food. So if you're not interested in food, it's okay. You can go click off whatever. 
These are the clean, light, uh, multi-purpose cleaning cloths. There's two of them in here and they do feel really nice. They feel kind of, kind of thick. So these are by um, Clean Life or Offer Text, Textile rec Recreation. So it's not really a, a Greenbrier product, but I thought I'd try those because there's some things I like it to do. This is it's ideal for wood, glass, and leather, electronics, and auto. You uh, use wet or dry. So I thought that was a good buy for $1.25. Oh, back to the food. I needed some Italian seasoning and I love to buy $1.25 Italian seasoning. I did pick up a couple more of the chocolate chips. Yes, I do like to keep those on hand because sometimes you just don't have time or you run out of ingredients. I picked up the quick oats. I seen couponing girl. She had hauled these on her Dollar Tree and she said they're very good. And, and we like to sometimes have, especially coming up now in the winter time with some oatmeal in the mornings. My dad is a very big oatmeal eater. So he loves that. I did pick up my double mint. I love my little double mint. $1.25 a pack at Dollar Tree, guys. If you like double mint gum, that's the only place I have been able to find it. So, okay, that bag's done. Let's get the other bags. Let's check it out. Okay, oh goodness. I did pick up some more spaghetti. I do use this. It's the thin spaghetti, 25% more free. So you are getting 20 ounces of spaghetti or the noodles. I did find some roasted Idahoan potatoes. We do like these once in a while as a side. This, the roasted garlic is really good. So, uh, back to the cookies. I did pick up some more peanut butter cookies for my peanut butter guy. He loves peanut homemade, homemade peanut butter cookies, but I think they'll do in a pinch. Okay, let's see. Picked up some Pioneer Country Gravy. I'm really not a very good gravy person unless it comes to roasts or something that already has its no orange juices, especially in a slow cooker. I can do a gravy out of that. Mine is out of like, I don't do sausage gravy and that, but I thought I would try this. The guys all kind of like gravy and biscuits and things. So why not? I picked these two things up. These are really cute, really pretty. This one says, let everything you say be good and helpful. And that's Ephesians 4.29. And these are journals and they are really kind of pretty. I love them. And these uh, inspirational journals. And I I believe they're all just plain paper inside here. So um, I picked one up for a very good friend that loves to um, write and journal. And then this one says pray without ceasing. And I love this one. That's Thessalonians 517, first Thessalonians 517. I love this. Pray without ceasing. Yes, we do. Okay, guys, let's see. I think I'm coming down to the end. Yep, sorry. These are a little heavier. And there's only two things in here, so it won't take very long. Oh, we have a little mat in here. Sandwich slices. I'm having a hard time finding the dill pickle slices or um, chips, whatever they're called, the little dill round um, hamburger chips or whatever. But anyways, this is not a bad buy, really. This is a dollar twenty-five, and it's uh, one pint and one fluid ounce. So, got a lot of pickles in here. I did pick up two, so. I've got a pickle eater and he loves pickles. So these should hopefully hold on to him for a little while. Let's see, I think that's it for now, guys. But I just thought I'd jump on, show you my little iron-ons that I have been busy doing. And um, next time, I promise I'll get my diamond dots out and show you those. But anyways, y'all take care and thank you for uh, being here. And I will see you again soon. God bless you all.